Dan LaClory joins us now. He is the managing director and head of the China Department for Baostud Security. So, Dan, why the extension from the Commerce Department? Let's talk about this 90-day delay. Was it because of negative feedback, the market's reaction, and why introduce a ban only to pull back soon after? Was it just not thought out? You raise a lot of good questions, Elaine. I think first and foremost, after proposing what the immediate ban was going to be, I think a little bit more thought was put into it. And when you look at the linkages, whether it's supply chain or, of course, the software and the operating system, um, I, I think the, the, the greater group that, uh, that makes these calls decided, you know, we've got to be a little bit more measured about this. I Personally, my feeling was that the security word got invoked at perhaps an inappropriate time and that this may just be creating more bargaining leverage for an eventual re resolution of all of the, the, the trade wars, let's call it now, that are, that are going on. So uh, maybe cooler heads prevailed um, for a period of time, but the dependencies, the mutual dependencies are, are, are pretty striking. They really are when you look at Google, uh, when you look at the chip manufacturers, when you look at the entire supply chain. Uh, it's not as simple as just saying, you know, we're going to cut off doing business with Huawei and live happily ever after. Yeah, you mentioned these companies, uh, Google, Intel, uh, they're saying they will abide uh, by the extension after initially announcing they would suspend their ties with Huawei. So what are their next steps between now and then? And what kind of position does this put them in, this back and forth? Well, I think an unintended consequence of what's occurred and what could perhaps still come to pass um, should the, the uh, operating system of Android continue to be banned is that Google very rapidly is going to find itself confronting uh, another formidable competitor. So, you know, we've seen Chinese technology unleash itself in areas like fintech and alternative payment systems where literally in, in, in months, let alone years, uh, software was created that allowed customers to do things with payments that you know people in the West from Scandinavia to the US never even thought of. So I think Google, apart from the bracing for this immediate effect, is now very, very closely thinking about, you know, we're gonna have a, a pretty strong competitor because Huawei's not gonna take this land down. Um, they're gonna come out swinging with their own system to become less dependent uh, on Google. And I want to get your reaction to uh, the founder and CEO of Huawei came out and, and made some remarks basically reassuring folks, hey, we're going to be okay. What did you take out of that? Well, number one, Elaine, I, I think Mr. Wong was tremendously patient and measured. And he was almost effusive at paying compliments to consultancy firms and supply chain uh, firms that they deal with in component manufacturers. I mean, he really, really took the better part of that argument and was, was, was very, very calm and measured when he could have been very heated and very emotional. So I, I think he's to be uh, complimented for his restraint, uh, quite frankly. So yes, he wants to reassure everyone that this is going to get worked through, that there, there is no security issue, um, that there have not been specific examples that, that have convinced him or others that um, these security concerns exist. So I think he wanted to do that, but he also wanted to assert himself that you know Huawei is a huge company. It has many markets, and by the way, you know what Huawei is doing with 5G um, is is really something that's he didn't use the word unstoppable, but you know that genie is out of the bottle and it's not going back inside. And there is such a dependency on Huawei for global 5G infrastructure that uh, it will be very difficult to stop. Dan McClory, always great to hear your take. Thank you for joining us from California.